Hi guys, so today we're gonna do something super simple, super easy. We're gonna go ahead and make some homemade toothpaste. Now this is the adult version, hence the activated charcoal. So all you wanna do um, is go ahead and take your G butter. I'd get this just from the regular grocery store. You could get G butter. If you wanna put it, go ahead and put it in the bowl. I didn't make a big batch this time, um, just for the purpose of the video. You want to also go ahead and then add your coconut oil, which I'm adding right now. And then the third thing that I put in the bowl here is some peppermint extract just to give it that toothpaste taste. Um, if you would have left that out, it would your mouth would feel clean, but it would have that like minty taste in it. Now, the reason that I use um, G butter and coconut oil is because tartar and buildup and things of that nature on the teeth they actually dissolve better in fats than they do in water. So that's just a little tip. I went ahead and added my baking soda just now. Um, ever since I've been pregnant, I been craving baking soda. Is that weird? Can you leave in the comments if anybody else been craving baking soda or if they just crave it on a regular basis, you don't even have to be pregnant. Um, I went ahead and added my activated charcoal um this is the adult version i have a kids version version that's going to be coming but this right here is the adult version you don't want to put the act activated charcoal in the kids version but now you see i'm just stirring um and i'm going to do that for a while it doesn't take long to go ahead and get everything mixed in and emulsified um super simple super easy recipe i wanted to go ahead and start with some easy stuff we'll get on to the to the little bit of harder stuff uh later on down in the month um but again coconut oil and g butter are better for your teeth than putting that water and that toothpaste on it and this is also a fluoride free um recipe as well and i don't do fluoride and my son doesn't do fluoride either um, for my own, you know, spiritual reasons. We don't do fluoride. Um, so keep mixing here. Once you have everything kind of mixed up and kind of like a paste, it's going to harden back up once you put it in the tube. But once you go ahead and have everything mixed up, you're going to take either like a dropper or I used um, one of my baby's old medicine dispensers and I just got some small tubes again for the purpose of this video I didn't want to make a whole big batch I'm just making a little bit for y'all also I don't measure y'all will learn that about me I do not measure um my husband did buy me some measuring cups and some measuring spoons like some brand new they're super pretty I guess he thought that that would help me to measure because he says that I need to do measurements if I'm gonna be making videos for people to watch but I just sprinkle into my heart my little heart says okay girl that's enough you know to the ancestors tap you on the shoulder and say you've done good so what I'm doing now all I'm doing is pulling and filling the medicine dispenser up and then that's how I'm distributing the toothpaste into the bottles now this can get a little bit messy it can um obviously as you can see it gets a little bit messy but that's okay we clean that right on up at the end um so after you get everything into your bottle whatever size bottle that you're gonna use you don't have to use the little ones what you're going to do is go ahead. I personally like to go ahead and we'll stick them in the fridge overnight. Um, once you take them out of the fridge, I actually can show you what it looks like after it's after everything is like put together. Take it out of the fridge and kind of let it rewarm a little bit and then you are all set to use it. So 
so this is what it looks like right here you can as you can see it is a paste um it's not liquidy it's not too hard it's right in the middle i told you this stuff is going to harden back up and become a paste and with this you don't need any water all you're gonna do is put don't don't wet your toothbrush at first put it on your toothbrush you're gonna brush how you would normally brush two minutes however long you do it and then you're going to go ahead and um rinse regularly as well right guys so we are nearing the end of the video um i'm gonna go ahead and link all of the ingredients down below anything that i actually did get offline like i said the coconut oil and the g butter you literally can find in the oil and shorten it out in your local grocery store but i'll go ahead and link everything else um if you like this video leave me a thumbs up leave me a comment maybe share um subscribe because we're going to be doing 30 days of magic and i'll see you guys next time